This is part three of designing my new antique booth. We got all the structural elements in place and then it was time to load in the smalls. When we finished unloading everything at the end of the second day, we realized we didn't have enough smalls, so we had to go back home and price more items. We brought them in the next day and then it was time to lay everything out. We did a lot of tweaking and rearranging because we wanted to make sure that everything looked perfect. We were so pleased with how everything turned out. Our goal was to make sure that you could see each individual item, but that it all felt put together and part of the same collection. While it can be fun to dig through an antique booth, it's hard to make a sale when customers can't clearly see your items. Another goal was to make sure that our booth felt lived in. We want people to look at our booth and see how they could display these items in their home. For instance, this corner of the booth is one of my absolute favorite areas because it feels like you can just sit down, pour yourself a drink, and get into your book. Overall, I think we were able to accomplish what we set out to do, and I hope that this will be a successful space for us. If you're ever dropping by Cleveland, Tennessee, we hope we see you there.